Hey you, it's lc.blogspot.com. Happy Halloween! Today I'm going to show you how to get my candy corn ombre nails. So even if you aren't a fan of Halloween or even candy corn, keep watching because ombre nails are the most searched for nail tutorial that I have on my blog. So all you have to do is switch out the colors to ones that you like. So keep watching! For the tutorial you will need a white polish, an orange polish and a yellow polish. You'll also need a base and top coat of your choosing and a makeup sponge and just whatever you're going to use to clean up the mess. Okay, so you want to dampen your sponge and then paint your three stripes across it. The reason you dampen the sponge is that way the polish won't absorb into it as easily. And I tried to get these as even as possible. And then all you're going to do is you either take it and roll it over the nail like that or you can dab it on. If you roll it over the nail you're going to get more of an intense look. If you just dab it you'll get a bit more of that sponge effect. And that's what it'll look like. If you find that there's a section that didn't look right, you can go back over it by painting a little extra on the other side of your makeup sponge, which you can also cut this to fit your nail a little bit better. Or you can take a makeup applicator like this one and then just go back and dab, wet this, put polish on it, and go back in and dab any extra areas. And all you will do is clean up your nails, finish with a top coat, and then you can even add a glitter, or I like to add a glow-in-the-dark top coat, which I shared in my fall favorites for nail polish video. And that's how you get candy corn ombre nails, or just any type of ombre nails, the easiest way. Trick